Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Piyush and this is video number 14 in the series Azure DevOps Zero to Hero. Yes, we have come this far. We only have two videos remaining after this. I hope you had a great learning experience till now and I'm hoping to complete the series within this week itself. We only have two videos. So this video will be about Azure DevOps Wiki. So let me take you to my GitHub repository to show you the agenda for today and then we'll start with the video. Right, so here is my GitHub repository. I'm sure you would have the link by now. If you don't, you know where to find it. And I've scrolled down to the section where it says day 14 Azure DevOps Wiki. And the topics that we'll be discussing in this uh, will start with overview of Wiki, what it is actually. And then creating and editing a project Wiki, publishing code as Wiki, and then how we can use Azure DevOps Wiki to collaborate on a project. So here is my Azure DevOps organization. I'll start with creating a new project as always. So day 15, sorry, day 14, wiki. And I'll hit create. So on the left side, we have different services. It starts with overview, summary, dashboard. We have seen each and everything. And this is the one that is pending, wiki. And this is what we're gonna discuss now in this particular video. So let's start with a quick introduction of what exactly is wiki. So you might have like if you have worked in an organization before or if you are a working professional, you might have worked with a tool called Confluence by Atlassian, Zero Confluence, you might have heard those terms. So that tool is basically uh, something that we use to collaborate in a team so that multiple developers, multiple, uh, multiple employees work together in a single project to store different information, you know, creating playbooks, taking meeting notes, of storing different team information, calendar and whatnot. So it can be used for a variety of purpose. If you have not used Confluence before or if you have not heard before, you might have uh, used Notion for your personal project. So Notion also has this feature where you can collaborate with multiple people uh, in an organization or for your personal project. And basically that's what it is, right? So this wiki is an alternative of Notion or Confluence and basically the main purpose is how we can collaborate on a single platform so that multiple employees in an organization can make the changes simultaneously and every changes will be tracked. Who made the changes, what changes were made and when it was made, all the metadata will be stored as well. So that's why it is uh, important. That's why it is uh, one of the tool or one of the service that every organization prefer. Like, they use a different tool for that purpose, but the purpose is same. So first of all, we'll start with creating a project wiki, right? So on the middle of the screen, you see an option where it says create project wiki. So click on that. Okay. And then it will ask you a few details such as page title. Got it. So let's give it a page. Let's call it a home page, and then enter the text over here. Welcome to our Azure DevOps series. So this is Markdown supported. And if you don't know what is Markdown or if you have never worked uh, with Markdown before, it's uh, it's pretty simple to use. If you want, I can create a separate video for that. But for now, just uh, you can just follow along, right? So uh, to make this uh, heading, I can just use hash in front of it and on the right side, this is the preview that how it will look like, like once we save it. And if you make it double hash, this will be, you know, a subheading, a day one video. And then we can add more subheadings like day two video. If you want to add a text in bold, you can use double star. And first video was about overview of Azure DevOps and CI CD, right? So if you put that in a uh, double star, so it will come as in bold letters. So for italic letters, it will be single star, right? And, and so on. So there are different other options. If you want to write, uh, you know, code blocks, so then you can use these three. I'm not sure what it's called. I guess it's called tick sign. So uh, you can add your code over here. So let's say, x equal to y something like this and you close it so this on the right side will be your code block uh don't worry i'll create a separate video for that if you want just let me know in the comment and uh, I'm, I'm happy to do that right 
here we have created a sample page we gave it a title uh, we added some description and we see its preview as well looks good so once we have verified everything you can hit save okay and then close okay so here is your page here is your home page on the left side and here is your page so you can click on follow so that any changes made to this page you will be notified for that you don't want to do that just leave it as it is then it will also show you how many people have visited this page in last so many days and let's say if someone wants to make any changes or suggest any changes they can add a comment over here right so this is just a sample page that we have created now let's because by default all members can edit and view this page this is the default page so let's go to our uh, settings click over here and go to wiki security since this wiki is stored as a git repository the permission are set against the repository right uh, so you know you can just review the settings from here like who can contribute let's say i am the user over here and i have all the access if you want to restrict access to a particular set of users then you can do that uh, from here right like what we have done for other projects, you can similarly do that over here, right? So uh, that was it. And then um, if you go over here, uh, click on more options, you can add a sub page, right? So that was home page. Home page was introduction or you know agenda for our series. And then on the sub page, you can add let's say day one video. And then over here you can add let's use uh, a subheading overview of Azure DevOps. All right, hit save and close. Now, this particular sub page will be added to the home page because that was the parent page and this is the child page. So, that was done. Once that is done, you can, you can also add a revision message while saving the page. So, let's, let's add one more page and I will show you how to do that. So, let's add a sub page, say day two, day two, and uh, on the right side where it says save, I'm not sure if it is visible. So on, on just on the right side, it says more save options. So you click on that, there is a drop down and you click on save with revision message. It's like a comment. You can add what changes did you made. Added page two. Right? And hit save. And hit close. Now again, if you want to edit any page, it's pretty simple. You know, it's there is an edit button over here. You click on that to make your changes. Day two v1, let's call it that. Hit save. And I mean, good practice is to add the comment message as well. But for now, I'll just close it. Uh, the changes will be saved. Okay, if you want to see what changes were made and what was the comment message, so you can just go to the, any page, click on these three dots or no, uh, go on the right side where it says more actions and you hit on view revisions. Once you do that, it will show you who made the changes, uh, when it was made and what was the comment message. Right? And then you can track the changes back to it. And basically you can also see the changes that were made. So you click on that, click on the change. Let's say this one. It will show you that this line was edited and uh, this was changed. So diff line, it will show you the comparison line by line. Right? And here's the preview as well. So you can do a lot of things. You can revert the changes. There was a revert button as well. Okay. And uh, where we have our page, you can easily arrange the order of the pages. Like you can just hold it with your mouse and you can drag the page up or down. Right. And it'll ask you if you really want to move because it will change the location of the page. Then hit move if you are okay with that. So now it has created a sub page day one to day two. So this is basically two hierarchy down now. Right. And I can just move it over here. Click move. And now they are at the same level. Right. So we have made the changes. Now let's quickly have a look at how we can publish code as wiki. So uh, I'll open my GitHub repository. So I'll open my Git repo. There is currently no repo created for this project. So I'll click on the plus sign over here and create new repository. A repository type is Git. Let's call it day 14 repo. 
okay hit create and there is a readme file so click on three dots where it says more options and hit rename uh, we will be renaming this particular readme file to like let's say something called a team.md and we'll use the same uh, branch which is main hit commit so we have made the changes hit edit and basically remove everything and just add one message one heading meet our team so i'll just add my name for now okay and then hit commit okay commit the changes now let's go to overview and wiki open this in a new tab open this click on this uh, particular drop down and hit publish code as wiki now when you do that it will ask you uh, to select the branch we only have one branch at the moment okay there was a different repository for this so select that repository and select the folder day 14 repo and then give this wiki a name call it docs and hit publish now when you do that your code repo has been published as a wiki so it can be tracked and managed as a git version control from the azure repo itself so if you make any changes from your azure repo it will be reflected in your azure wiki now the advantage of using a wiki as a code or code as a wiki is you can track those changes in multiple branches you can apply branches on wiki and now you can do a lot of things like whatever you can do with uh, a git repo basically you can do the same with azure wiki right so that's that's one of the benefit of using it as a code now let's see how we can add wiki in a repo okay so let's hit these three dots and hit new let's click on folder and like give it a name such as upcoming events and give it a new file name so currently it's march let's call it march events.md so we will uh, create a sort of calendar of all the upcoming events so hit create and uh, like the same way you can add a commit message to it let's call it there are no events in march as we need to finish azure devops as soon as possible so hit commit okay main branch Okay, so sorry, that was not the commit message. That was the content of it. There was no event in March. And um, now there is a new folder with the name upcoming events. And there is a page called March events, right? Now from the same folder, you can add one more file. Click on new and file. Let's add April events.md and hit create. Call it um, we need to start a new series in April as Azure DevOps will be coming to an end. So let me know in the comment section, which series would you want to go next? Uh, I have been receiving a lot of requests from many of you. I would probably choose uh, from these two. So let me know. Uh, one is CK certified Kubernetes administrator. Another, another one is AWS um, solutions architect. And then there is a third one, which is anything GCP specific. I already published GCP A series, but I'm not sure if you want to um, look into more GCP stuff, anything related to GKE, Kubernetes, anything. So feel free to comment down below. So for now, I'll hit commit. Because I used Markdown, I you know mistakenly entered 113, but it took that as a series. It changed that into 123. So that's uh, one of the benefit of using markups. You see, if you see the content is 113 right now, and if you go to preview, you see 123. Okay, so uh, we added two files. We added uh, one folder to it. Now we need to add a sort of sitemap. In sitemap, we define how these pages will be aligned, right? So let's create a new file. Again, the same thing, create a new file and call dot order. So when we create this file, I'll tell you what it will do. So create this file and then 
so this april event should go inside upcoming event i made a mistake okay let me just delete this one i don't think uh, we can change its order let me try to see if we can okay no we cannot move it over here because this is repo so let me delete this okay i'll create a new file inside upcoming events new file and we'll call it april events dot md okay. new series okay it commit okay now as i was saying now we'll create a new file inside the same folder and we'll call it dot order okay hit create in this file we define how our uh, file should be visible Right, in which order it should be visible so let's call it march events.md make sure the spellings are correct as the file name events.md okay and then hit commit commit now return to your uh, azure wiki page hit refresh and expand this uh, it is not showing correctly it should be march first and then uh, april so let's see if we made a mistake okay let's hit add it and we should not add the file extension over here just the file name okay let's hit commit again and hit refresh okay now if you see we have march event and then april events so this is how this is just an example this is basically sort of a hello world program within azure wiki but i hope you got the idea so thank you so much for watching the video. I hope uh, you found it valuable. This topic is not as advanced or as not helpful as others that we have discussed because practically there was no core or CI CD involved in that, but it is helpful in understanding how do we create the documentation? How do we manage the documentation and all those things? And uh, yeah, so we have two videos pending. Uh, I will see you soon with the next video. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubts, any questions or if you want me to cover any specific topic in the upcoming videos, I will try to accommodate that. Um, thank you so much and I will see you soon.